Okay, welcome back to Dutch Eats. You guys, we have been talking about doing these talking videos like we used mm -hmm. to on the channel. But we um, haven't. We haven't. This is the first one. We want to give you guys an update on what's going on around Homestead because we left a, I left a cliffhanger. I don't know if you watched it yet. No, the, I was getting ready to. Okay, at the very end I said to be continued. Mm -hmm. Right as I'm pulling up. Um, that video is already like 30 minutes long. I didn't want to add another 30 minutes to it. And, and it makes you guys want to come back and watch the other one. But anyways, um, so some quick updates on the Homestead. But first, we want to get into, we did a giveaway for this channel a couple weeks ago. We've only had one person um, email us that's a winner. So we will be putting the winner's name down in this video in the comment section. And what you guys won was you won, um, we did a $50 gift card in March. Yes. Um, a t-shirt um, that we haven't released yet. And also um, the company Wagbar has um, said that they were gonna give you guys each a box of variety pack of the Wag Bars, which are awesome. That's that's a big giveaway right mm -hmm. there. So that's really awesome that. So if you haven't, there's two of you guys that haven't done it yet. So go down and see if your name's on there and then email me at Keeping It Dutch. I need your address so we can ship this stuff out to you guys. And uh, so we're excited. And ask you your t-shirt size. Yeah, and your t-shirt size. We need your t-shirt size and all that. Um, but yeah, so yesterday was a pretty crazy day, wasn't it? As far as the weather wise. Was it yesterday? Yeah. Oh, both yesterday and the day before. Well, yesterday was when all the damage happened, wasn't it? No, that was two days ago. What's today? Today's. Yesterday oh yeah, two days was ago. When there were still more storms. Yes, but, but Wednesday. Not, yeah. So Wednesday, the last video you guys seen on Keeping It Dutch was the day that. Because that's happened. when we were at church and we had to come home because there was animals mm -hmm. missing and yep. things blown over. So we're okay. The home says okay. We got so lucky um, that we literally. You'll see in the video I got coming out tomorrow, but this is kind of like getting you guys caught up. I'm not going to show any of the damage. You can see that tomorrow. But literally, things missed. My bobcat, a big limb, missed a bobcat mm -hmm. by inches. The, um, the uh, well house got minimal damage. It could have been so, so much worse. Well, than and was. I was thinking about the structural, but like he said, our whole filtering system mm -hmm. could have got taken out, like within inches. Yeah, we got extremely lucky on that. Um, so you guys will see the video tomorrow on all the damage and everything. And the animals, they were all safe. Where yep. I mean, they were stressed out for sure. But so the they were chicken safe. coop over there, it looked like it got completely yeah, destroyed. Yeah, when he texted me, he said, "Well, our baby chicken coop's like destroyed, but we were able to piece it back together." And mm -hmm. I don't really think there's any like damage. We didn't have to repair no. as far as just kind of putting it back together. Like the roof, the literally the roof for the chicken coop was like 50 feet away. And somehow, and like we screws ripped out. Like, I mean, everything about it was in pieces, and yeah. the little chicks were gone. So we I don't them. know if it was. I'm I'm thinking it was a straight line wind. Could have been possible a small tornado forming over the house because and over the property because there is damage down the road and before us. Well, and you said and Rachel noticed when they drove by here all the tops of the trees. Mm -hmm. So all it might be like trees. something went over the top. Yeah, that that's why I think it was maybe some sort of smaller tornado forming and maybe just didn't form all the way because we had tornadoes here in the past. Um, probably five, ten miles down Spavinol. Mm -hmm. It came through a valley and did the exact same stuff, just yeah. ripped the tops of trees off. And last night, why he's saying last night it was bad too. I mean, there was storms. Like Hayden was woke up from a dead sleep, like screaming, crying. He said it woke him up from a dead sleep. Like thunder Shook was super loud. Shook the camper and the house. And then it doesn't help. Yesterday, I had taken a little nap in the morning. That's a whole nother story of like we were exhausted because we had been out yeah. the night before dealing with stuff. And I dreamt their whole house collapsed. <laughs> so I was kind of a little apprehensive last night. And then this been this big storm last night. Yeah. And it's literally been raining all day. And, uh, so we need the rain a yeah. bad, bad. Well, and that's what I've seen people put in comments like, and kind of memes like, yeah, Oklahoma just asked for rain, but we can't just have rain. Yeah. It has to be like severe thunderstorms, that's not just so the true. rain. So true. So yeah, so we dodged ones. That's an that update for you guys over on this channel. If you guys like these talking videos, because we enjoy doing them, um, giving updates, what we got planned um, in the future on, on the homestead. So what we have planned, other than that, everything's fine here on the homestead. We Thank we're, goodness. Thank I mean, goodness. we still have some little cleaning up to yeah, do, but it's Lots fine. of cleaning up around all the trails. I'm over there by the sawmill. Um, I start working on the um, the well house one today. Got to finish doing that. We just had to prioritize animal shelters are good, and then we moved mm -hmm. from there. So the pig shelter was completely flipped over upside down i talk about that tomorrow's video like those pigs were inside that when yeah 100 percent they were bobby inside there. was ticked off like I, he was like yeah making well, all kinds of weird noises i'm surprised he stayed survived like it's just it's just a miracle what damage we got was minimal especially to the structure the, i mean i was worried about the dogs 
I mean, they could have, their whole shelter could yeah. have been, it was scary. Well, what about the awning? Oh, that's the whole reason he came back as soon as he did, is because our camper awning was out, and it wasn't phased at all. Yeah, it was full of water. And, and those can get just, like, ripped yes, off. Yes, I just knew coming up the road, and you guys have seen the video, all the damage on the road. The neighbor's roof was in the middle of the road. I just knew, I was like, oh, that's the perfect sign. Well, you that. wouldn't have been surprised if the camper would have been blown, blown over. The camper would be blown like over, a yeah. Tree on the middle of it. It was crazy. Like, and then I got here, and the, and the awning's like still there. I'm like, well, that's awesome. And well, the wind, whatever it was, it went not right. Well, it went there to get that it chicken. It went directly over our house. But then it must have turned because it went between <laughs> the well house and the trampoline. Like, I wish our cameras were on because the trampoline, how far away is that? Oh, it went a good. That's a football. No, it probably went a good football 50 field. yards. Probably 50 yards. Oh. I could throw that far. It yeah. went. It went. It went well, it would have went further. It only stopped because it hit the livestock trailer. It's on top of the livestock trailer going. right now, yeah. Um, but yeah, so other than that, like even my big green egg I'm looking at here. I know. I got a video coming out tomorrow, a cooking video that you guys are really going to like. It's. Um, it was, it, what would we have? It was the Mississippi mud. Oh, I didn't know you videoed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been doing this Mississippi mud. It's not like my recipe, but you do it with a roast and it's usually beef. We yeah, did it yeah. with a beef roast. Well, he did it with um, some pork ribs. Con country style pork ribs. And I mean, the girls, Hayden and Hope loved it. Hadley isn't much of a meat person mm -hmm. anyway. And then our niece loved it. But yeah. it was really good. I haven't seen anyone on, on um, YouTube. I kind, of, I kind of searched for things. I've never seen anyone do it. I've seen lots of the Mississippi mud. So I haven't seen anyone do this. But I knew it would be good because pork, tender pork, it, yeah. it would be good. Well, and these, like, you can just, like, tear it apart. You don't need to cut them or anything. It was yeah, super good. Yeah, it was awesome. So And the um, it has pepperoncinis, but don't be turned off from that because it's not spicy at all. Yeah. Like a two-year-old ate it yesterday. Yeah, so. it was awesome. Uh, so that's a really good recipe. I'm going to start doing more often. I just like the whole Mississippi mud mm -hmm. flavor and all well, that Well, it makes it very tender, and then the flavor is good. Oh, and another thing, too, if you guys didn't catch the last video when we are talking about the conference, um, we still have spots available. We just got on off the uh, phone with the hotel, get some things straightened out, but we have to place our food order. And we said this in the, in, yeah. the, in the... Yeah, we're getting excited for that. Yeah. To, it's kind of coming to an end. It hasn't been as much planning as the expo because... The hotel takes care of a lot of mm -hmm. it, but there's some decisions that him and I and DJ and Daniel are going to make about yeah. food options for you guys snacks. and snacks and all that stuff. Lots of snacks and drinks and food. It's going to be awesome. The networking is going to be mm -hmm. amazing. That's one thing I always tell people when they're trying to build a channel, you have to network with other like-minded channels, like-minded people. Um, so the networking here is going to be awesome. We've already got a really good-sized group of people for the networking is going to benefit everyone. And we've recognized some of the names mm -hmm. of people that comment. And I think what's good about it is like networking otherwise, you would have to like email them, cold, yeah. whatever, like cold call them yeah. and say, hey, my name's Joe. I have a YouTube channel. This, it's going to be all in one room. Yeah. So you're not like bothered the person like it's expected yeah like that, that's what it, the purpose this is. this is what the, the is catering towards so that. you're not just having to cold call them or email them and say hey would you like to yep. check out my channel like you can just talk right there all at once in two days and yep so the goal is we're gonna be doing tons of networking with one another you guys are going to be sitting at individual tables of groups of like five to ten people yeah, at each table it's a small it's the room is very nice, but it's small enough that it's going to be like an intimate area where you can talk and get to know each other yep. and eat and all that. And this is this is this is to help people who are legitimately trying to build a channel, yeah, um, to grow a channel for whatever purpose it might be for income or just for capturing memories. But you still want to build it to share your memories with other people. Well, and I know you've said if there was something similar with like he's looked up to wrangler star in the past for example if yeah, there was something years, like that yeah. you and daniel would have paid this back then oh yeah and it would have just think about how much faster your process would have probably went oh yeah it made a lot easier so we're gonna have our see i talked about this in the other video we have our, our tax guy there it's just gonna be very beneficial to have people comes. that know stuff about merchandise mm -hmm have actual creators themselves yep. on all different platforms so check it out video creators united.com um, you guys go over there and check the links and stuff out but if you're a winner if you want part of the contest please email me um, don't be if there's any spam in the comment section below yeah. i'm not going to tell you guys to give me your card information all i need is your address yeah. to ship you this stuff to you guys so please yeah if, don't fall for any of that it's yeah. just those three winners email him which one already has so yeah. we have her stuff yeah. ready to go so email me that and then for what we got planned um, we got some stuff coming up over the next week uh, but plan for the house we just got all not all we got a lot of insulation moved in yesterday we got the drywall moved in so the goal is we're going to be working on the living room wall 
putting, uh, I'll probably end up doing the drywall first and then the insulation on the back side. And I end up getting like from in the closet. Yeah. Area. Remember yes. we were talking about it. Yeah. Um, Cause the masonry heater is going to be installed in the next three weeks. I think three weeks from now, maybe four weeks, the end of August. Yeah. Yeah. End of August. That's going to be pretty in, much right after the conference or right. Yeah. Yeah. Right after the con that next following Monday after the conference, we're getting the masonry yeah. heater um, installed. And I've been seeing some crazy stuff um, that governments are doing around the world when it comes to fuel not like gas prices, but like natural gas, propane, well, that'll and be gas. Perfect, we won't need oh, it I'm telling you, I need point. to make a video just on that. What's yeah. going on? So this thing, so you're going to be seeing on the regular keeping it dust channel where we're building homestead and all that stuff. We're going to be splitting wood. We're going to be moving trees. We're going to be doing all kinds of crazy stuff, getting ready for the winter. Winter, I know it's it's end of July and now. I'm like starting to sweat. Yeah, now. it's hot and humid here. Actually, Winter's coming. But yeah, like August, September, you start preparing for the winter. Mm -hmm. So so that's what we got planned. We got planned. We got to get the living room wall done. Get the masonry heater installed. Um, I'm still. I gotta call the plumbers. I got. We gotta get the. Any plumbers out there? Oh my gosh! I'm telling you, we gotta get the uh, the lines done for the propane. That is something I could do. I've done it before on a smaller scale, but I rather pay the plumbers to come do that. Well, when you're talking about propane, because like the masonry heater is just for heating the mm -hmm. house, but like cooking well we can cook with it but like most of our cooking or like the hot water yeah not the hot water the water heater oh, yeah, you've that stuff it. is propane. propane so i mean yep. stuff we're still going to have to rely on that somewhat and i'm going to have a, a propane hookup outside for a propane generator for backup yeah. and all that so we got to get the plumbers out here i don't know why they're not calling me back because we've used them well, a lot in the past you probably didn't follow up either i always yeah. follow up because they get busy with so, stuff so that's the plan so you guys are caught up if you guys like these videos leave comments down below i know this is mainly a cooking channel but we want to evolve it into something like this yeah. and cook also we just we've thought about different names but he just still like we just dutch keep eats. going back to dutch eats yeah. so it's like it's not saying you only can eat and cook yeah it's like so. so this is a cooking channel, but it's also going to be doing more of these videos too. And we've done this before in the past and people love yeah, it. Yeah, that's how like you guys actually helped us decide about getting a camper and stuff. Mm -hmm. That's when we first started doing it. We were talking about, oh, yeah. do we want to build, do we want to get a shed? Do we want to get a camper? Do we want to get a car? Like, I don't remember. Yeah. We had m multiple options. So a lot of you guys in the comments helped us decide which route we went. Yes, that was awesome. Which now we're like... We I might have went, went a different route, but <laughs> yeah. it's still like you have to try it. Maybe that should be the next video, what we would have done different. Yeah. Because there's a lot of things we would have done different. We would have prioritized when it comes to the living situation, the power situation. I would have done things completely different. And that's that should be a video for another yeah. video at a different time. But like I said, that's just how we kind of started. I think it's when we were starting to sell our house is when we first started mm -hmm. doing these type of videos. Yep. So a lot of you contributed to helping us decide all that. Yep. Thank you guys for that. So if you guys got any topics you guys want us to talk about, I don't know what that was. Any topics you guys want us to talk, talk about down in the comment section? Any recipes you'd like Brandy and Hayden and I to I'm to do? ready. I, I'm sure if you've been around very long, you'll know he's more of the cook. But since we haven't had a kitchen, now cooking. we are ready to start Yeah, using yep. kitchen. We want to start canning. We want to start yeah. doing the freeze dryer stuff again. That's the stuff that's made me kind of a little nervous lately is like right now is when everyone should be prepping. Mm -hmm. And we don't really have the space for that we or the capabilities. The yeah, so, so the freeze dryer, you need a lot of energy for it. And we don't have that other than it just isn't capable. So yeah, so as soon as feasible. this house is up and going, we're going to hit, hit it hard, start doing this stuff, start prepping a lot more. But anyways, thanks for watching today's video. Hope you guys um, got caught up to date. What's going on around the homestead tomorrow on Keeping It Dutch. You will see all the damage. We do a walkthrough. What is that? Is it going to be to be continued number no, two? No, no, that's you gonna not. Let them know? It's the full thing. No more to be continues. And I knew that would kind of make some of you guys mad, but just part of it, you know. Get well, you and I think about like shows I've enjoyed watching. Uh -huh. It leaves you hanging, and then you have to wait like a week. Or movies. Or a whole yeah. Movies. Or a whole year? movies. Three It'll years. Be like, I know she didn't die. Three years later, we get to see what happened. Yeah. I've so been, at least this was just a couple days. Yeah, I've been waiting for Avatar to make a new movie for ten years. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for watching uh, today's video. If you want to see more, comments down below. If you are the winners, email us, keepingitdutch.com. Oh, keepingitdutch at yahoo.com. Keepingitdutch at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on next video.